He's not worried. Rohan, should he be worried at this point after what we saw on Sunday? So I think LeBron is definitely playing a little bit of a game in that press conference there. I think he knows what he's saying when he has zero level of concern. He should be worried in the sense that any player in a conference final should be worried about their opponent, right? It's not supposed to be easy. We take it for granted how easy LeBron has made it look over the years. He's faced way more pressure moments than this against the Celtics specifically than he has, you know, being down 1-0 in the series. I don't think he has zero level of concern, but there's some worry there. This is a good opponent. Well, here's why LeBron shouldn't be too worried. LeBron stunk in that game. Yes. If LeBron had been good, then there would be some real cause for concern, but he played about as poorly as you'll ever see. Now, we know he doesn't typically play his best in game ones. I think people forget he's so cerebral because yes. he's so physically impressive, but he's 5-0 and in the last Eastern series where he's lost a game one. He's actually 2-12 and on the road in game ones for his career. They started 0-14 from three. He was bad. I thought the rest of the Cavs players played better in the second half. LeBron just didn't do his part, which we know will not be the case in Game 2. Absolutely. I mean, you look at LeBron, he's earned the benefit of the doubt, right? I mean, he's been down 3-2 in Boston. He's been down 3-1 in the finals. He's, he's seen worse situations than this. I will say in terms of LeBron not playing well, I am a little bit worried about he just wasn't able to get good looks at the rim yesterday. Uh, you know, I don't know how much of that was him doing that thing where he likes to feel out, you know, through a Game 1. So that's one thing I'd be a little bit concerned with as I was a Cavs fan.